Hello friends, welcome to Rathal PC YouTube channel, myself Prasenjit. Today I will show you one of the best gaming router from Asus, Asus ROG Rapture GTX 6000. It's a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router, but this router is specifically designed for the gaming purpose. It has many more advantages regarding the gaming features you may need for your mobile gaming or your desktop gaming. In this router, there is many more uh, advantages like it has 2.5G port and any other ports. In this video, I will tell you all these technical details and I will also show you what is the configuration inbuilt in this router. So let's begin this video. Asus ROG Rapture GTX 6000. It's a gaming router, dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. Why this is a gaming router? Because it has many more advantages for the gaming. It has 2.5G LAN port and 2.5G WAN port dedicatedly for gaming. You can configure this port using your desktop, using your laptop to play your game and your this router will dedicatedly allocate you the channel for your gaming purpose. Also this router has a gaming VPN features also. So if you want to play your game using on remote server, it will dedicatedly allocate you some VPN connectivity so that there will be no ping loss or there will be very less uh, lag uh, will be there when you using the internet for the playing the online games. The next thing is this router has 1GB DDR4 RAM and 256 MB of flash memory which is quite good enough and it has an industrial grade and also desktop purpose, uh, desktop grid 2.0 GHz quad core processor. So that means if you connect the multiple device together, use this router, simultaneously you can play the game, you can stream your 4K, you can watch the 4K in your TV. So anything you can do using this router. And this router has other port like USB 2.0 port is there, USB 3.0 port also is there in this router. So you can connect the hard disk, you can connect the remote printer and anything you can do using this router. So let's unpack this router and I will show you all these ports and how to configure this router. And one thing I also want to share this, this router is, is a 6000 Mbps router. But the problem is that many customers ask that I am not getting the 6000 Mbps and how to uh, get the 6000 Mbps total bandwidth. This is a total bandwidth and this router has a two band. One is 5 GHz band and one is 2.5 GHz band. In 5 GHz band, you will get maximum 4800 Mbps, the total bandwidth. And in 2.5 GHz band, you will get near about 1108 or 1120, near about 1.1 GHz of total bandwidth. So when you using this 5 GHz band, you have to remember this only 4.8 GHz, which is also a good bandwidth actually for your daily purpose or for your gaming purpose using this router. So let's unpack this and I will show you all the things in this video. Asus ROG Raptors GTX 6000. Let's check the four side of this box. On the front side, it's all the main one features mentioned, which is already described you. This is a 2.4, uh, 2.0 gigahertz quad core processor, dual 2.5G or LAN, AI mesh, AI protection. One thing I want to mention with this, this router has one ROG logo, which is Aura Sync compatible. That means it's a RGB light is there. And it's, uh, Asus has already the 10 years running. The PC award choice is receiving by the Asus. And this side says some port and configuration is there. What is the gigahertz of this uh, LAN? What is the speed? What is the RAM memory? Everything is written on this side. On the back side, which I already told you, this is the Gamer VPN is there. This is a commercial grade of internet security. This is the Wi-Fi 6 total bandwidth 16 Mbps. One thing also I want to mention that this router, you can from the software you can aggregation the WAN aggregation. For this WAN aggregation, you cannot aggregate the 2.5G dual LAN port. You have to aggregate one 2.5G WAN port with 1G LAN port, which is the 4 1G LAN port. So these two port you can aggregate for your WAN purpose. Because nowadays internet speed is increasing day by day. So you can uh, take your internet connection for two, uh, above 2.5G, then you have to aggregate uh, this WAN port for the dual purpose only. So you can also use this as a WAN aggregation using the two different connectivity, like one is from one different subscriber and another connection is from the different subscriber. So for that purpose also you can use this. Let's unpack this. Wow, 
there are so many things is there first is quick setup guide i will show you how to set up this router so let's assert this this is another service and support guide this is the vip member notice this is the advanced wi-fi helper how to connect your wi-fi uh, device and everything this one is a very good quality it is cat 6 or cat 7 cable this one is the adapter this is the 19.5 volt adapter which is coming near about or high end asus router this is the main device let's keep it aside this is the four detachable antenna these are the different type of power cable it doesn't have any adapter so the this is 19 volt adapter and it has all the different type of connector for the different country let's check the main device it's quite big actually wow it look like some alien ship a spacecraft wow very nice design let's check from the back panel from the back panel first one is the usb 2.0 port and the second one this one is the usb 3.0 port and these four are the gigabit LAN port, these are for LAN port and this one is mentioned for the gaming port. This gaming port you can configure from the software for your dedicated gaming purpose. And this is 2.5 gigahertz LAN or one port, both you can configure from the software. And this is also 2.5 gigahertz LAN port. So you can aggregate this one port with this LAN port for the one aggregation purpose. This is the reset button, this is the power on off switch, this is the DC input socket. And on the back side, it is a very good thing actually. I always check this is the VESA mount is available or not. This router has the wall mount facilities there. So you can easily install this router in your wall. It is not, so you can use this as a desktop or you can use this also as a wall mounting purpose. And this four for the antenna, external antenna. And front side, there is some LED. This is the power LED. This is the 5 gigahertz and 2.5 gigahertz LED. This is the 2.5 G LAN, also 2.5 G LAN. This is the all LAN connectivity and this is the WPS button. So this is the LED on off switch and this is the WPS switch. And this one is for the ROG logo. When we power on this device, I will show you how it's glow and how to configure this RGB light from the ASUS Oracing software. Let's connect this four antenna. It's very easy normally. You have to rotate this. So I have attached four antennas. Let's power on this device and I will show you how it's glow and how to configure this port and how to configure the AI mesh and how to configure the AI security, everything's from the ASUS mobile app. So let's power on this device. We have power on this ASUS router. Now I will show you the ASUS router app. In the ASUS router app, we have to configure this router. To get this router configured, first we have to connect the Wi-Fi signal coming from this particular router. So let's check the Wi-Fi signals available. One signal is already in our home network or the office network and the other one is showing the ASUS underscore BO. So this is the new router app signal. There is no password as it's a starting point. So it will be easily connected using this ASUS BO. Now it's connected, tick mark is just now we will open the ASUS router app, then we will press the plus icon for the new network. We we'll choose the ASUS Wi-Fi router. Now it will detect the particular router using uh, this Wi-Fi signal. First we will show you that how to configure this ASUS router for the internet connectivity purpose as a dedicated router. Or next, uh, in the next scene, I will show you how to configure this router with an existing AIMS system as a node or as a main device. 
Now it has already detected the GTX 6000 is there in this Wi-Fi signal and it will try to configure the internet connectivity. So let's press the next button ISP information. It will asking for the 2.5 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. We just give the some test name. Done. It will ask for the you know choose the admin. 10 character a strong password now it will try to setting up this whole network and after this finish we can use this router for the internet purpose so the configuration is done and it is created its own network wi-fi signal it's showing as wi-fi test now we will press the join button It is try to connect it. Now it's optimizing the existing network. Nothing to optimize actually. It's very simple. Still, it's the app is trying to detect all the Wi-Fi signal, all the features, and everything. Then it will optimize this network. It's showing the diagnosis is going on. Now the network is operating perfectly now finish this is the what are you statics is there enable the remote connection accept agree remote connection enable now you can check the device connected device home this is the family button you can Restricted this ASUS router access as for your child or preschool or teenager, adult. There is uh, the predefined features is there. So you can press this adult button and you can change the internet access based on the URL or based on the keyword. You can uh, filter out all this internet access. Next thing is settings. In the settings page, there is the quick internet setup, AI mesh, AI protection. Air protection is normally is this it is showing the turn on you have to just scan this and it will show you if there is any issue now this is the diagnostic parental control gaming gaming is open net and mobile game mode is there so if you press the mobile game mode so the router is will be optimized for the mobile users and mobile gaming users so it will detect the mobile uh, connectivity using this wi-fi router and it will allocate the dedicated channel for those mobile device and next is the QS quality of service jo, uh, is services there. So you can prioritize your channel as per your users, the gaming uh, purpose or the web browsing purpose or the download purpose or any kind of purpose. You can configure this router in the QS mode. Then the USB in the USB there is three type of service there. FTP Samba and is there and eject USB is for the if you connect some USB dongle or USB hard disk for this device you can use it as an eject USB. Next is Wi-Fi, share your Wi-Fi wireless settings, Wi-Fi eco mode, then the LAN mode, IP binding is there, you can choose the IP binding, and the instant guard, this is also very good features actually in the instant guard, you can set up your VPN, and instant guard is actually for your local VPN purpose, if you want to use your Wi-Fi signal and Wi-Fi all connected device using a secure network, then you can turn on this instant guard. This is the firmware upgrade, it will show you the if there is a new firmware is there, you can check this on this firmware upgrade. It will always uh, give you some uh, upgrade regarding this uh, the internal inbuilt 10 micro antivirus that will also upgrade from this firmware upgrade. System settings, you can connect this with the Alexa, so you can uh, from the Alexa commands you can operate this router. It's a very good thing. This router also support the Google Assistant and Alexa both, notification setting, network to account bending and related apps. So all the, all the features and all the settings you can operate from this mobile app itself. Now we will try to connect in our existing AI mesh system and how to set up this I will show you in this mobile app. So for this purpose we have to reset this router as per the static uh, the, the first mode. So after we reset this router I will show you how to connect to the existing AI mesh network.
we have reset this router once again now if you check the wi-fi signal this mobile phone is already connected using our existing ims national pc dash 5g and this asus underscore bo is the primary signal from this uh, new router so we will connect it this existing ims network and we will open the asus router app RTX 3000 it's connected it's showing already there is on AI mesh device RT dash X2 is connected now we will try to detect the node so it will try to find out the existing uh, AI mesh supported device in the near about in this Wi-Fi range so it's showing GTX 6000 in this range we will press this button so we have to do nothing actually so it will automatically apply all the existing settings all the existing features in the AI mesh network to this new router so we just have to wait and it will take few minutes to configure all this AI mesh features and AI mesh node will be configured automatically it's saying it will take six minutes to complete so let's wait now the router configuration as per the AI mesh node is completed so we'll press the done press the home button and it will showing that the first router is RTX 3000 then there is one AI mesh node RT X55 and this particular model GT X6000 is connected through this RT X55 router so the AI mesh connection setup is done right now we are connected from this GT X6000 so there is the backhaul features is there if you are you want to use the backhaul as the 1G1 only so you can configure this from this portion so that your uh, wireless bandwidth will be not hampered in the back hole. From this you can turn off the LED on off this aura RGB there if you there is the button physical button is there for the LED on off uh, you can do this from this mobile app. So if you press the off button the all LED is gone off. So in the night time or the evening time you can turn off this light or for the normal purpose you can turn off from this position. It is a very quick response is there and this is the aura RGB which is a new thing in this router. So you can change this color as per your requirement. You can spray the static or breathing or this is the wave. The wave means it will be some little bit and this is the mark you. In the static mode you can change the color as per your requirement. Is a deep red, is the pink, blue, sky blue, green, yellow, red. So you can do as per your requirement. So this is not the major purpose but for the look or the display purpose you can do as per your choice the other things as per the same as we earlier already told you so overall this router has many more features and many more advantages than the rather uh, the other models available in the asus router series this is dedicated it has the dual 2.5g port you can watch this as a one aggregation you can work, work this as a for the nas connectivity purpose this router has USB 3.0 port, USB 3.0 port, this port you can use this as a FTP server, Samba server or you can use this as a print server also. So you can use this router in your home, in your office, in your gaming purpose, on your video streaming, 4K streaming, every kind of purpose this router is a perfect choice for you. Asus ROG Rapture GTX 6000 in our YouTube channel, we have reviewed so many routers from ASUS and other brands but this is one of the best router I can say in terms of design, in terms of specification, in terms of its features. If you also liked our video, if you enjoyed this total specification of this router, please like and share this video as much as possible. Also subscribe our YouTube channel to get the latest product video and latest updates from our channel. If you need any kind of information or if you need any kind of technical specification regarding this router, please comment us in this video. I will see you on the next video with some exciting products.